morning and welcome to Coffee with Pastor. What a beautiful, beautiful morning this morning, and I hope your day has started well. I have a nice hot cup of coffee right here. It's ready to be enjoyed. I have my copy of the Word of God open to the book of Ephesians in chapter 3, and I trust that you are going to turn there and you're going to join us and follow along with us as we read that in just a few moments. As we are turning there, let's turn our attention to the point to ponder. This comes to us by way of Jerry Bridges, and he stated this, Preach the gospel to yourself every day. Preach the gospel to yourself every day. And certainly, we ought to remind ourselves of the gospel every day. We ought to remind ourselves of what we once were and what God has done for us in order to change us, in order to redeem us, in order to reconcile us to himself. And so keep that in mind, ponder it, meditate on it. Um, Many of these truths are worthwhile to commit to our memory, to commit significant time to, to that we might grow by what others have said. I mentioned before, we are in Ephesians chapter 3. It's almost 9 o'clock, and so we'll go ahead, bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father. Let's pray together. Good morning, Lord. And what a joy it is to be in your presence. Father, tonight, we look forward to being with our church family. And what a time we anticipate as we continue to study the book of Exodus. Lord, as we come before your throne, help us to understand that you are capable of doing anything, everything we can ever ask of you. In fact, Father, you are able to do far above what we can think and of what we can ask for. Your power is abundant. Your grace is amazing. And Father, we come before you as a people, as a needy people, asking that you would indeed work on our behalf. Father, it is necessary It is needful for you to bless each one of us. Continue to meet our needs. Continue to manifest your presence with us. Continue to guide us each step of the way to empower us for the tasks at hand that we might be pleasing in your sight. And Father, it's for these blessings that we pray. Father, we ask your blessing upon this wonderful, wonderful day you have provided for us. Lord, you know what awaits us. You know the interactions that await us. And so, Father, we come before your throne. And Lord, again, as we talk about you strengthening us, you already know what the day is. You already know what we need. And Father, we have seen it so many times in which you answer our prayers before we pray. Again, because you know our needs before we can even ask, before we even realize it is a need. Father, again, thank you. Bless this day and as we ask your blessings upon your people and upon this day, we also ask your blessing upon your word that we would understand, that we would apply it, that we would live it. Father, may your spirit use your word as only you can. Father, make us what you would have us to be. 
in all areas. Father, we ask that you would be pleasing to us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Ephesians chapter 3. For this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words, whereby, when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Whereof I was made a minister according to the grace of God, given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ, to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God, according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. Wherefore, I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church, by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. What a glorious, glorious plan God had and that he revealed unto men like the Apostle Paul to reveal it to us. That we Gentiles might be part of the same people that the Jews were, that we might make one fold, one group, Christian. The church. And as we make up the church, it is required of each one of us that we might be faithful in all things. It doesn't matter what other people are doing around us. It doesn't matter what our society is. You and I who claim the name of Christ must be faithful. Study his word, learn his word, live his word. And as we do so, we will never allow ourselves to become someone else's excuse for turning away from the glorious, glorious gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Beloved, we certainly do love each and every one of you. More significantly, God 
loves each and every one of you. Until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.